Hey guys, what's going on? It's Row137, and welcome back to another video. Oh wow, we got on right when a party started. How amazing is that? Today we're going to be doing a video on how to get Souls of Light in Terraria, or Souls of Flight in Terraria, the ones that you need basically to make any wings. Now, I got to do a quick message to my current subscribers because I have been gone for about two years. So if you want to stick around for that, just keep watching. But if you don't, just go to the little timestamp I'm going to put on the screen right here or uh, the timestamp I'm going to leave in the description. All right, for those who have been on my channel, the 560 of you that have been on my channel uh, for like at least the last two years, I've been gone from them because uh, I had to do school and stuff like that. So it's literally been two years since I've made another video. And I completely changed all my artwork, my profile picture, my name. And so if any of that's confusing to you, my old name used to be Charged Creeper Plays. And so if you were subscribed, if it's still the same channel, I just changed everything up to make it look, you know, a little bit more professional than it did before. Thank you guys for sticking around if you do. All right, now let's get on to the video. Okay, to, so to start getting Souls of Flight, uh, first, you're gonna wanna, well, you can check your map. I was checking like this stupid map. But one thing that you just need to be sure of is that you're in hard mode. To be in hard mode, you need to have gone down to the underworld and killed the wall of flesh. Once you do that, you're in hard mode. You'll have a hollowed biome and stuff like that around. And then once you're in hard mode, you can get wings and souls of light, flight and night and all that stuff. So make sure you're in hard mode because otherwise this video will make zero sense. And also if you guys want to watch any souls of night or souls of light video, I'll leave those in the description because I made those too. Okay, so first of all, if you're in hard mode, the one thing you're gonna wanna check is that you have a cloud. Hopefully you do have a cloud because that would be really helpful. If you don't, then you're gonna wanna like build up from the ground and look for clouds. Looking for clouds is kind of annoying, but you gotta find the clouds somewhere. They're usually just hanging around in the air and you have to get up to them. Once you found a cloud, I've got a little portal to one, so I'm gonna go run down there. <clears throat> Once you found a cloud, you just have to basically, this is one of my clouds, I'm gonna get to my other one. Basically, you just get on top of the cloud and that's where you need to start. All right. Anyways, so once you're on your desired cloud, it doesn't really matter, I, and uh, you're just going to be up here. And so what you do is, I took a ton of wood, and I built a little, like, pole. You want to go pretty high. You want to go high to where it's, it's pretty much dark. Like, you can see a little bit of stuff, but gravity slows down, and you're kind of floating, and it's all dark. You'll st once you start seeing these um, harpies, you know you're in a good spot. All you have to do is wait for one of these wyverns to come down, and that's literally all there is to it. So, after you just, basically all you have to do is wait for one of these wyverns. Sometimes they take a long time. I was just really lucky there, but these wyverns will come by and try to kill you. So the best way to kill them, in my opinion, is to use a ranged weapon and just dodge them with maybe hover boots or something you have. I personally, if you're going for a mage build, I say go for golden rain because it does a lot of area damage, or not area damage, but it shoots really far and really consistently, and it's very easy to just kind of chain them with. If you're like high level like me, it's not that great of a weapon, but I'll just show you. And yeah, it takes like a couple seconds to kill them. And then there you are. That's, that's literally all there is to it. There's the Souls of Flight. So once you got that, Souls of Flight are pretty much used to make all kinds of wings. You, I mean, pretty much every wing in the game has Souls of Flight in them. So after that, you can make wings, and wings are used for just about everything in the game. I mean, you can go, they're the most helpful thing in the entire game, pretty much. Alright guys, so sorry that was a quick video, it's been a while. I'm gonna try to start coming out with a lot of new uploads now, but that's pretty much all you need to do to get Souls of Flight, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, before the video ends, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of my friends, Island Gaming. They make really great first-person shooter videos, and I would love it if you guys went to go check them out. Alright, see you guys all later.